Say you have a huge data that ranges in thousands of rows. So how are you going to analyze that? Are you going to do it manually? Of course not. When it comes to data analysis or digital marketing, understanding how exactly your campaigns are doing, pivot table is the go-to for it. Let's say you need to do data analysis or you have been running campaigns and now you need to understand which campaign, how exactly did it perform, which keyword worked the best, which didn't, how are you going to do your optimizations. For that, pivot table is something that you have to absolutely know. So in this video, we'll get straight forward to it. Let's have a look at data and see that if I had to do its analysis at different levels, how would pivot table actually make my life easy? If you're new to this channel and like this video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. We'll be talking more about such concepts in my upcoming videos. All right, so I have this search term report from one of the brands that I have taken up. The numbers are of course skewed. I've not taken the real numbers here. Uh, we'll just have a look at this and we'll try to understand that if I need to analyze this data set right here, this is a search term report which has roughly um, 10,000 rows right here. What is the easier way for me to do that? Now, please remember I'm doing it from the perspective of digital marketing, but once you understand how pivot tables work, you can literally do it for anything in the world. Let's say I want to analyze the performance of different cricketers or soccer players or other people in the world. I can do it very easily with the help of pivot table. All I need to understand is how exactly that works. So let's have a look at it. So over here, let's say I have these different search terms, keyword, campaign name, ad group name, so on and so forth. Uh, this is Google spreadsheet that I have opened up. You can also use Excel if you want to. Uh, most of the functions more or less remain the same. So I'll simply click on insert right here, pivot table. This right here is the data range, which tells me that what is the range of the data that will be taken up. Like we had seen before, we had roughly 10,000 rows. So starting from A1 cell, which is this right here, until O10039. So if I just look at it right here, O is my last column. So starting from A1 cell until the very end, my whole data would be taken up in this pivot table. So I'll simply click on create right here. And now anything and everything that I'm trying to analyze, I'll simply keep on adding in my pivot table here. So let's say I need to understand how exactly my different campaigns are doing. So what I'll do is, I'll find where exactly do I have my campaign name, here it is. So let's drag and drop this into rows. As soon as I do this, you'll now notice that a list of all the campaigns have appeared here. All the campaigns for which I have run or different ads have appeared right here. Let's say now I want to understand how much have I spent in any of these campaigns. So please remember, anything that needs to be analyzed would always be added either in rows or in columns. For anything that I need a value, let's say I need maybe cost or total number of impressions or total number of clicks, wherever you need a number, simply drag and drop that field in values. Let's say if I need to count the total number of keywords in each of these campaigns. So I'll simply take keyword, add it right here in values. And now I've received a count of all those keywords. Similarly, let's say now I simply need to see how much have I spent so I'll simply add cost right here in values. And like you can see, I have now received a number that how much exactly have I spent in each of these campaigns. Now let's say I need to sort this data such that the campaign which has spent the highest, I want to see that campaign at the top of my pivot table. So simply go right here in sort by, I need to sort this by cost and in descending order. So that's what I have done. In fact, let's reduce these decimal numbers. And now I'll be able to see that all those campaigns on which I have spent the highest have now appeared on top right here. Now, once this is done, let's say I also want to understand my clicks. So let's add clicks here. You also want your impressions. So impressions, I have impressions, clicks, cost. Let's also add conversions. Okay, so let's say once you have added all this data, now I want to understand that to get one conversion, how much am I spending in each of my campaigns? So for this, what I am going to do is, a simpler method could be, let's say you simply calculate your cost per conversion right here by simply taking your cost and dividing this by conversion. However, this is not a very efficient method. Let's say if I need to add another row, 
it would create problems for me in the pivot table let's say right now i also need to add some other metric here let's say add group so since i have manually added this data right here i would need to shift this information so that is why instead of adding any data manually i would prefer to do the changes in my pivot table itself so now let's see what i'll do i need to add cost per conversion so any of these derived fields like ctr conversion rate cost per conversion whenever i have to add these in my pivot table i am going to use calculated field for it so how do we do that simply go to values click on add calculated field let's say i need my cost per conversion so what is its formula its formula is cost divided by conversion so i simply write let's say cost divided by conversion let's say i've simply written this and now you'll notice that an error has come up here unknown range name conversion why has it come up because in my data right here there is no field with the name conversion it is conversions which means whenever i am using any of these header names in my calculated field i need to use the exact name which has been used in my these headers right here so i go back to my pivot table and now i simply write here conversions so if i simply zoom in let's say i write here conversions and now you'll see that my data of cost per conversion or just simply cost per action has come up right here now let's say i want to make this data more readable nobody wants to see my cpa in so many decimal points of course you can either just reduce it from right here or what you can do is you can simply use the formula of round up so let's say i write here round up bracket let's say i want to round it up to two decimal places so comma two bracket close and that's it here's your cpa now let's say i also want to calculate my ctr or conversion rate so try doing this by yourself and tell me are you able to do this or not for your help let me just do it for one more metric which is ctr so calculated field clicks divided by impressions into 100 this right here is your ctr let's say i want to round this up again to zero decimal places and voila it's done so that is how you can create your pivot table let's say now if i want to understand that which campaign has given me conversions at the lowest cost so i'll simply look into this data right here and let's say a campaign like this has given me cpa of just 1.79 which happens to be a pretty good number as compared to the rest so i can simply add a green color to it which now tells me that this campaign has worked really good for me now similarly let's say after this campaign which other campaign has given me a better cost per conversion it's going to be this and like you can see these happen to be your brand related campaigns however the cost is not really much which has been spent here if i now try to find out those campaigns which have given me a really high cost per conversion just look at this data right here and you'll see that these two campaigns have one of the highest cost per conversion In fact even the second campaign if we just look at it right here has given a higher cost per conversion at least something which is higher than my average cost per conversion right here which means i could just look into these campaigns to understand what exactly is going off here right now i have added ctr only go ahead and calculate conversion rate and cpc by yourself to understand this data further let me know if you have any sort of confusion or doubts in the comments I'll see you in the next one if you do like this video do not forget to like the video and uh, share it and maybe subscribe to my channel that would help me understand that you really like this one so that I can create more videos like this so I'll see you in the next one take care until then